And I don't really know what comes next I'm just doing my best Even though I'm so stressed out Everything just feels like a test That I feel so depressed When I can't seem to get out But something deep inside won't let me I do try to stay positive But I also stay real And this is fucking real right now Hi, welcome to me um, I'm filming an intro clip to this video because I kind of just dove straight into it um, post-appointment. I tried filming this intro the other day and I cried really hard. So my goal is to not cry during the intro because you'll see me cry later. <laughs> um, I don't remember everything that I said because I was in such a tizzy and just so like overwhelmed and frustrated and so... There are parts of it, I think I'll just edit it around some um, because there are parts of it I do want to show, but I was so like disoriented and, and overwhelmed and hurt and frus beyond frustrated. Um, so the, the part that I feel like I want to make sure I communicate like from a clear head is um, I did go see the psychologist uh, for the follow-up. And the psychologist gave me all the results. I'll go over all the detailed results um, later in the video. But I was very confused. But my psychologist um, did all the evals. And during our first appointment, I think I even said this, said that she believed that I would probably fall under the, the term Asperger's. And I've said this a lot in the past, but... The term Asperger's is, is basically considered outdated and not really used anymore because of the history behind the name of the scientist that it was named after and, um, you know, frankly, the damage that it's done to the research of autism as a whole for decades now and ironically directly impacting me. My psychologist basically told me that, oh God, I'm going to cry, sorry, get over it, um, basically told me that I'm probably autistic but I'm not autistic enough for an, a diagnosis and that um, she thinks that it's it's almost too difficult to decipher what is the autism versus the trauma and that and that I have these symptoms of autism but that she can't diagnose me with it and that is just, that's not a yes or a no. And her recommendation, her like professional recommendation at the end of the evaluation is that I get retested in six months. So when all you people out there are that are hounding like autistic adults who are not diagnosed, who don't have good healthcare like me, that don't have access to healthcare at all, um, even if you do, you get shit like this because they are not equipped to handle undiagnosed autistic adults because all of the research and everything is so skewed toward pediatric. And I'm heartbroken. So, and I don't remember how much I did share, but I did talk to my parents. Actually, I recorded a clip after I talked to my parents, so. I did talk to my parents after, and it went better than expected. And so, now I'm sitting here like, is it even worth it? Because, as she said, and everyone knows, that knows anything about this shit, there are no resources for autistic adults. And another thing that she said was that basically because I do not require, like, one-on-one -on -one assistance as an adult to, like, function, um, like a caretaker, that that was part of the reason why she couldn't diagnose me. And I think the hardest part is like, I can't be like, this woman's a quack, like she sucks, like da 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 da. <laughs> You'll see in the rest of the video. She, I think she's good at her job. The system is just broken. The system's just broken. So. I've been grieving the past few days because I was just really confident. The doctor made me feel confident, which I think that hurts worse. 
And she basically said I am autistic, just not autistic enough. So. <laughs> it's fucking gross. So anyway, sorry I cried. Uh, this isn't a really emotional video for me. So, yeah. Hi, welcome to me. I just got done with my appointment that I've been waiting over a month for. And I want to talk about it because I'm just going to be honest and I'm upset and I'm angry and it's not over. Spoiler alert. This isn't over yet. I'm going to take some notes. Um, and I'm just going to talk about it because I got a full assessment and um, she said my core deck, like a lot of this is not a surprise. A lot of this pretty much all. Everything here, I already knew. She said my core diagnosis was my uh, PTSD slash CPTSD. Um, and then she said, and like, she put it in like a certain order. And she said my next concern was severe anxiety. I guess that's what she diagnosed me with. Um, and then I got a confirmation of PDD, persistent depressive disorder which is like an overarching long-term diagnosis. I've probably had it since I was like a kid. Um, but then I'm also still diagnosed with major depressive disorder because she said that you can have both and that the MDD explains like the hyper intensive episodes of depression that I can go through. Um, but PDD is more of like a persistent, like long-term overarching thing. And then she said that I presented with ADHD combined type, but more impulsive versus hyperactive. So I got two depression diagnoses. Yeah, I'm double depressed. And then of course, the big one. Well, before I get to the big thing, um, she said that she's ruled out entirely bipolar and PDD. Um, that those were misdiagnoses, that I was right about that, yada yada. She, um, I'm so mad. She told me that basically I'm too high functioning, um, to be diagnosed as autistic. She said that I showed symptoms of autism. But based on the evaluations, it was something that she's not able to diagnose at this time. And her recommendation at the end of the report is to retest in six months. That's her official recommendation. So, inconclusive. <laughs> Fucking sick, right? I had, like, a full meltdown. Because I'm autistic. I know I am. I'm not delusional. I'm not wrong. I'm not lying. I'm not lying for attention. I'm autistic. And I'm so upset. You know, a comment I've gotten in the past but I think this bugged it, like, it bugged me a little bit. It didn't, like, ruin my day or anything, but it's just, it just hopped into my head. I mean, I think it's, like, a meme, even, that, like, some assholes on the internet will say. It's, like, people have said something to the effect of, like, she's trying to catch diagnoses, like, Pokemon, you know, or something like that, where it's just, like, you're just trying to rack up all these diagnoses. It's just, like, no, I'm just trying to understand why I am the way that I am, and why um i deal with these certain issues in in certain ways and so i mean it's nice to know that i'm i am right that i'm not bipolar that 
um i she saw no signs of mania no signs of a lot of things like that were good um and uh she told me that my memory issues had like a really wide range and that I clearly had memory problems, but that they were inconsistent. I forgot what test she was talking about, but she said like I would range from like like above average to super below average, depending on like I think she said environmental factors or something. I don't know. I don't have the official paperwork yet. We just went over all of it and she has to like sign it or whatever. And she told me that... Um, there's like a section of the IQ test that I took. She didn't give me an exact number. Um, but there's like, there's a category called like attention and, and mental control or something. And that was the only thing that was low on my IQ test. And she said that that's because of the ADHD. And so she said if you took that out of the equation that my IQ was like above average. But with the like ADHD in full effect... It, like, I guess literally lowers your IQ score, which I thought was interesting. Um, just in terms of, like, the aspect of how we measure IQ. I find that interesting that apparently having ADHD is considered, like, a knockdown for an IQ, for your IQ. This isn't over. I really wanted this to be it. I really, really did. I, I guess now the question is if I should retest with the same person or not. Because I think she's assuming that, like, the retesting would be with her. And, you know, I, I wasn't even the one that, like, asked about retesting. Um, she told me, like, before I, I said anything about that, that that was... Sorry, I'm like... Oof. The light is bright i'm tired and um i was really mad and i just this sucks you know i knew this was a possibility and i mean like honestly this could have been a lot worse i've, I've seen people who have had to go to multiple doctors and who you know, because they come across intelligent, because they come across well-spoken, they don't get taken seriously, and, like, they get told really, like, fucked up stuff, even, um, about, you know, like, why you can't or should be, you know, you should or shouldn't be considered autistic, and, she, like, she said something that just really confused me and, like, made me mad. She kept saying, like, that, like, due to the current, like, I guess, like, diagnostic material, like, she said, previously, I would have fallen under Asperger's, which, obviously, you know, we know that term is, like, messed up now. We know the truth behind it. But, like, I would have fallen under, like, the high-functioning labels, but I guess they've removed those labels. And because they removed those labels, she told me that because I essentially don't need, like, one-on-one -on -one assistance that she can't diagnose me as autistic. And I was like, what? That's wrong. Like, you can be autistic and not need, like, one-on-one -on -one assistance. Like, I live with my family for a reason. I've tried living on my own. It didn't go well. I need to live with someone. I I don't function well in my day-to-day -day life, like, outside of my confirmed stuff. Like, and I kept, like, pressing to her how I felt about it. And she was like, I, you know, I'm not saying you're lying. I'm not saying I don't believe you. She just, like, I guess per the results of the testing, couldn't, couldn't do it. This isn't over. And I'm still autistic. Like I said, I already know I'm autistic. God, this sucks. 
so I just spoke to my parents. I called them because before I post anything online, before I write a Facebook status, before I do anything, I needed to talk to them because as I've said in the past, that was a major motivator and I just in previous conversations I had had with my mom I just felt like my only solution was to get a diagnosis and maybe it's coming from a wrong place of just really wanting that validation from them and um so I called them and I went over everything and like, cause like the diagnoses that I have, like, none of this is a surprise. Like everything, I asked about the PDD because I I kind of knew. Oh, I also have a family member. I, I'm not gonna say which one. It, it, not my, not of my parents, but I just, I, there is a family member that I know of that was also diagnosed with PDD. And so, um, which is the persistent depressive disorder. Anyway. Um, I just talked to my parents, and I want to document this for, like, me, you know? And, um, I was just really scared to, 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 to tell them this. You know, I went over all the f other stuff I just went over, and, again, none of this is a surprise to anybody. And I explained to her what the doctor told me. I explained to her that she said I had symptoms of autism, but that she couldn't diagnose me, that she recommended retesting, that she basically told me I fit the criteria for Asperger's, but that she could not diagnose me with it, which is, like, kind of confusing because I remember earlier on, and I think I may have even said this in a video, I thought she told me that she would have to diagnose me with Asperger's. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know if I miss heard that or what I don't know I don't know to be honest with you but um I'm just very overwhelmed emotionally and so I explain this to my mom and my mom goes well it, it, it sounds like she basically said that because of the powers that be she can't diagnose you but that you have Asperger's because like that's what my brother was diagnosed with when he was a kid you know and, um, and I talked to her, and my mom asked me a question. She asked me, um, sorry, this is, like, so emotional for me. She asked me, um, like, basically, what do you need a diagnosis for? Like, what are, what are you looking to get out of getting a diagnosis or, like, is there is there a, a reason like is there something you're trying to get done to get the diagnosis and I finally was just like well well not finally I very quickly was just like if I'm being really honest I just want you guys to believe me and then I started crying and my my dad said I believe you oh man oh my so, I don't know if I've mentioned this on the internet, and maybe at some point I'll upload some of these things. I'll make, like, a little video that I'm okay with the public scene. But my dad recently digitized all of our VHS tapes from, like, my early, early childhood years. And, like, from when my sister was a baby and stuff. My sister's four years older than me. My, my dad goes, when my dad and or my mom were just, like, you know, we've been watching the home tapes. I haven't really watched them yet. I, um, and I'll get to the one that I did see in a second because I brought that up to them. Because I did see one clip of me. They showed me, um, from when I was, like, two years old around Christmas time, I think. But, um, my, my parents were, like, you know, we've been watching these back and, um, basically we, we've been seeing these behaviors now that we know because they my brother was seven when he was diagnosed and I was nine so when I was little little they had they were clueless like my parents words they were clueless to it and um they told me that they you know they saw me being nonverbal. <laughs> they told me all these things and my um My parents basically validated my experiences and God, I love therapy. <laughs> I'm so fucking lucky.
so many people like me never get that. I'm so fucking lucky. Oh my god, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Oh. My mom told me she was like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of scattering around what they said when because I'm a little discombobulated. But my mom basically told me that she, you know, I guess she had started doing some of her own research and she said that like, you know, once you ex you know, once you told me some things and I, I, I looked further into it and girls mask more and da 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 da. I think like behind like I guess just not being like communicated directly to me, my mom has been looking into it and like trying to understand better and making it to where like you know she's she's been like fact checking what i've been telling her as of right now i don't know if i'm gonna retest or not i have time i have six months to decide right before or, or longer because the question it comes into question like financially is it worth it if i have if i know i'm autistic and my parents believe me and my behaviors line up from when I was a child. I've lived 32 years undiagnosed autistic. Why fight a system that has no solution? I want a diagnosis. I do. I just don't know if it's going to be worth the headache and the confusion and maybe if I wait a little bit they'll figure out how to diagnose high functioning fucking autistic people I'm still autistic I was always autistic being autistic is not the same as being mentally ill or having some kind of like terminal disease obviously being autistic is a way of processing information and it's a spectrum i told myself over and over again that regardless of the results i'm still the same person with the same lived experience my life became so much better when i started treating myself like i was autistic when I started giving myself my support needs, when I started using pediatric autism research in conjunction with uh, reparentification techniques and um, other aspects of like, you know, self-healing. None of that changes because one doctor couldn't officially put it on paper that I'm autistic. And it just really sucks how controversial self-determination is for autism. And um, my parents believe me. And they were really the only opinion I gave a fuck about outside of my own. So I guess in a way that's a win. Holy shit. I'm exhausted. And I just woke up an hour ago. <sighs> Later. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops.